yako usikie ndani yako kwamba dhambi imepiga kwa heri na Yesu akaingia. Hiyo dini haiwezi, kanzo haiwezi, rosari haiwezi. Ile ile sacrament haiwezi hiyo. Kuna mwingine akiingia unasikia kama kuna mwanya imewachwa. Yale ambao ulikuwa unayapenda zimekuacha. Something has happened mpaka wa marafiki zako will say something has happened to sister Pauline. This is not our sister we know something has happened. It happened to me. Until my friends began looking at me from far. And they gave me days, days turned to weeks and weeks turned to months. And they told me within one year I would have left salvation. It is now almost 20 years down the line I have not left it. Now they have left me they are watching me from far. In fact, when I get where they're making stories, everybody is quiet. They can talk. Because they know how to preach about God. I thank God. Give God the mighty hand clap for saving you. <laughs> and how many people will believe with me that salvation is a real prophet? It is a prophet. It will take away from you unnecessary friends. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Time wasters. Stakillas, those who are killing you, are corrupting you. You work with people who are visionary, the ones who can plan your tomorrow with. But these ones, they only plan with you today, what they see now. But salvation gives you good friends who you can share your future with. Men and women who can kneel down and say, This is my dream, you must pray together with me. But those other ones, they are dream killers. You speak about driving a car, say, wewe, gari gari, yeah, kama sitanunua. But here in Christ, we can pray, you can realize it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then I gave my life to Christ one day, praying, telling a man that with me, I'm heading far. He said, you can never reach before I reach. I've reached, he's still behind. What I thank God for salvation. All my friends I will spend time with in a bar. With the chattings and women and the datings as a young boy. When I gave my life to Christ, I left every one of them. And here I am. The decision I made when I was in Form 3, it changed me. It helped me. And I'm telling you those I agree with, all of them, it is me looking them back behind. With them, they look me in front. Meaning I'm ahead of them. If you want to be ahead of your friends, be born again. You'll think big. And let me tell you, wealth is not in the money you have. Wealth is in the brain you have. You can have all the billions of shillings and after one year, the Kenya women are auctioning you. And somebody can have 10,000 shillings. After two years, because he's born again, that money has manifested, multiplied at a given birth. That's why you need Christ. You need Jesus. A young man took a loan of three million. I told him, you pray, pray for. I say, be born again first. They both stood here. He refused God. And the other one, three million he got. Another one got 5,000 shillings. And he went on. And he began selling some small things. Right now he's running a supermarket. Back in a small town, a small supermarket like this Pond Yamir is making 10,000 shillings every day. The other one, Mpaka Sae Nambayake Asima Mefunga, because the CRB and the debt collectors are right following him. That's why, hear me, you need Jesus. You don't need me. You need Jesus Christ. You need Jesus in your life. You need him in your bedroom, in your sitting room, in all your rooms, give Jesus Christ. There are some who open a door for Christ in the sitting room where there is food. But in the bedroom, they don't need him. You need Jesus in every room of your life. Don't set some rooms be private room. There is no private room for Christ. Whether what you love is what he hates, let him hate it. And you also help, help Jesus hating what he hates in your life. You might not have heard me say. I'm saying again. Help or join Jesus hating what he loves hating in your life. And if you do that, after some few times, you'll come and say, man of God, thank you for preaching salvation to me. My life is okay. Let's move on. Now we are going here. I'm saying, Joshua is keeping, he's ensuring, until we enter the land of the promise. So the Jews must enter Canaan. 
Bwana nifuata kweli. Are we there? The youth must enter where? Even you you must enter the apostolic what? Apostolic faith. That's where the Messiah is coming from. He's coming to. In Israel, he's coming in Israel. Let's read the book of Luke 18 verse 8. Let's go there very fast. That's why you don't go to any church. You only go to a church whereby the apostolic faith is preached. Ikiwa wamewadlisha imani ya watume toka. Udongo mango is not there. For Rom Salaba. It was Christ. He says, whoever is there to read, 18.8, part B. Just read. It says, Huh? Yes. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith? You see that now? That's now in the second coming. He's now talking out of Old Testament. He, his first coming have already come, but now when I come back again, will I find faith? In the first coming, he does not talk of faith. He's talking of he who is waiting for to come to his temple. That is Malachi 3. But now not to temple, faith. Amen? That's why a Jew is not a Jew outside Israel. Can you say that? Now say it spiritually. A believer is not a believer outside the Bible. Yes. Outside the Bible, not a believer. You must be in the Bible. Don't accept. Jew is not a Jew until inside. And let me tell you, wherever the Jews are, what are they looking for in that direction? What are they looking for? Look at Jonah. What is he looking for? The holy what? City. What's the holy city? Jerusalem? What about you? When there's trouble, what name are you looking at? The name of the Lord is Almighty? Yeah, that's where you are running to. Even in the time of danger, when the accident is about to happen, you are like Jonah. Where are you looking at? You say like Jonah, all this danger on the road are lying vanities, but your name is never lying vanity. I run to your name. That's why in danger, the first name you call Jesus. And the demons will stop. It shrinks them back. They return back to their hiding place. Whenever you call the name of Jesus, you will never be a hiding place of the devil. It shrinks back. They know that name. Why do they know it? Because they even told him, we know you from the beginning, you are a destroyer. Have you come destroy us? Quiet. Don't talk about me. Let me demonstrate myself first. That's a name they fear. No demon will ever play around the name of Jesus Christ. Give him that name, you see how he reacts. I don't care how big your problem is. Jesus is bigger than it. It's bigger than it. Are we together? Amen? Now, Joshua is to ensure that the, the Jews must enter Canaan. The church of Jesus under the fivefold ministry must ensure the believers enter the apostolic faith. Because that's where Christ is coming. Number two, Joshua still. Let's move on now. We are turning now to the Bible. Now it is faster being faster. Very, very fast we want to move now. Amen. Are you ready? Let's now begin from the book of Joshua chapter 1. I say we want to move faster and faster and faster and faster. I've left my Bible. They have put a Bible here with no, some pages. Yeah. Chapter 1 of the book of Joshua. Moses is already gone now. What is happening there? Joshua is taking off. Now, let me bring you this. Can you say this word? The death of a messenger cannot change the message. Can you say that? What is the meaning of that? The departure of Moses cannot change the promise. Are we together? To us also, the death or the departure of the apostles cannot change the apostolic faith until that faith is fulfilled. That's chapter 1 of the book of Joshua. God is reminding Joshua, the church, that though... Moses is gone, but I, God, am not gone. Amen? So chapter 1 of the book of Joshua authenticates 
and validates the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6. 13 verse Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Like what happened in, in what? In Tanzania. The departure of the president created a vacuum and that vacuum is occupied immediately. For God is more than that. He occupies immediately. Somebody must preach that same gospel. If it is not occupied, then Satan shall take over. And God will be a loser, which he will never be. That is not in his vocabulary for him to be a loser. He will put a man who will run it to the end. Never has that. The only time there's a vacuum is when Jesus died. The three days, a vacuum was there. But let me tell you, as much as a vacuum was there, even Satan was not at peace because he was defeated. Praise the name of the Lord. I will Satan occupy it. Satan was in the ICU. Can you walk from the ICU? And all the organs are failing. Huh? You are in oxygen. What will you talk? Praise God. Are you getting me? How many are being blessed? <laughs> That's real apostolic. Let's march on now. Let's march on. Now, I'm rubbing here. We are still moving now. Now, as I am rubbing here, another place there is, they cannot enter Canaan unless they are circumcised. Who is circumcising them? Who is doing that? Those who were born again in the wilderness, they were never circumcised. In the first circumcision, in the borders of Red Sea. So, they died. Now, these are young men, 40 years, they have been traveling there. I know the, the eldest one, the oldest one was 40 years. He's not been circumcised. So, they must be circumcised to enter Canaan. Now, Canaan has two other things. You cannot be part of the apostolic faith until you are circumcised. What is circumcision? Circumcision stands for Holy Ghost what? Baptism. So the church of Joshua must emphasize that all members are circumcised. Are we together? So Joshua ins insisted and emphasized and practiced and implemented circumcision. Even us as we are here, you must be circumcised. Now let's go. Why are you being circumcised? Let's go to the Bukusu, the Kikuyus, the Maasai. If any young man is not circumcised, he's not permitted to discuss matters of adults. True or false? Let's now go spiritually. If you're not Holy Ghost filled, how will you discuss matters of adults? Huh? You know adults matters? The inner things. Those who are circumcised, Holy Ghost filled, they will always hold the devil by the horn. They are mature enough. But those who are not born again, not Holy Ghost filled, they are holding the devil by the tail. The devil is ow! Ow! But if you hold him by the horn, eh! See, when a Masai is circumcised, what next does he do? He's called a Moran. What is the qualification? He must go and kill a lion. One man, one man, one man, army. Now, if the Holy Ghost fail, you will not be disturbing man of God. That person is not circumcised. But if he's circumcised, you hear his talk. Man of God, I had a very funny dream. It seems there's a danger ahead, but I've returned it back to the sender. I will return it back to the sender. In the name of Jesus. That person is circumcised. He's speaking like a moran. Hmm. I've gone to the office and I've got some mayai kwa mlangu. I'm near care. And I've said in Jesus name I'll not be fired. I've fired all my enemies. You see by the time you're praying that way. Are they comfortable in the offices? Eh? They'll go to the toilet. Jesus Christ, 14 days I declare them dead. Eh? I'm going to say 14 days they are dead. They will not have peace. Utapata amenda kwa cho na narudi. Enda kwa cho na narudi. Kolera metoka wapi. Your prayers are brought to cholera. 
another man one day in the village. <laughs> he got home. Akapata kama kuku imeuliwa. Akasema, I killed them 14 days. I'm traveling. 14 days they are dead. He never traveled. He just came to Nairobi. And resting in the church and eating. In the name of fasting, but he was eating. 14 days the enemy died of, of stress. Somebody circumcised. In the spirit. You can't play around with his mind. Lakini wala mbao jatairi wa kiro, wao kitu kidoge na wastua. Hei, badu ni mtoto. Na wanda Paula nasema kwamba, nitakuja kwenye na maziwa, sababu nyi badu ni watoto. Hama jakoma. Walio koma. Hata jinsi wanava wamba unasikia. Wala mbao jakoma wanava vya wamba. Njaga maombi ni vita. Sio. Maombi ni vita. Wow. You can see the face of somebody in prayer. Say, hey, who you? Hey. Sasa kama maombi ya kuna mnaina haki. Pata huyo mutu. Sata huwa. Jesus and I have a machuake pekiake. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. Lakini jisana bu. Jisai. Jisai. Wacha. Umesha sindua. Toko kwa batalion. People don't cry in the battlefield. They face it head on. You first win it in yourself. You know, they even see your impression, the way your face is. You look at the way, how confident, the confidence you have in yourself. Praise God. That's why nowadays I don't go to prayers where people are very many. They make too much noise. I go where I'm alone. Muta melea ndani ya pali pa pengo. Eh! That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. Ye nye saa meanza kuna saa ine paka saa saba. That's why. That's why. That's why. Eh! 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 Saa saa. Hii bataga gari. Hata bataga kwa maombi. Iyo natoka hapo. I want men who can charge you. Women who can re-energize you. You hear the way they are calling the kingdom of God. You feel some, you feel that person is connected to God. Lakini wame badlisa, maami pa maombi, like a funeral home. Hosanna yo, Hosanna yo, hey, hey, yeso para, yeso para, nikubuke, hadi ya lekuwaja wapi? Yes, I'll go out of here. I'll go to Mbuki. I'll go to Mbuki when Jesus died. He remembered you. The Bible says, ask whatever you want will be granted. 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 Ajaricho, ayes ajaricho, yes ajaricho, bibi boje davi, yes a bibi boje davi, yes o, yes o, ajaricho, ajaricho, ajaricho. Ina juu akujua mlima na watoto mwa natafuta kuni kule wanawaskia, haruto pe wana sema kwamba ajaricho, ajaricho. I'm not there, oh, I'm not there. I'm not there. I'm above that. Hey. Hey, one day I was going to Kajulu for prayers in the mountain in Kisumu. Watoto wakudo meniaze chini ya mlema. Ajeriche. Ajeriche. Nilipika kona barabonje switch. Nika zeme zaki yo batiso. Wame ni batisa ajerichu. I turn back. I say I'm not going there. Let me go somewhere private. <laughs> they are idolizing the matter until now anybody who is there which is not fair you know when it comes to repentance do it alone sister Jen you didn't hear them there down there Eh, akiingia ndani, ajaricho. Anaanza to pole pole, anaongeza volume. Ajaricho, ajaricho, ajaricho. Inaendanga tu ajaricho. Ni kama ile umba imepigwa vizuri, inalea huko mbali. That's not the way. 
there's no problem repenting but now you are idolizing mpaka imekuwa sasa kimila na ikitikadi god will never get into something that you make a tradition repentance that is genuine will bring god down but the one way by it is now our system our pattern god will never enter in your pattern unless it is led by god praise the name of the lord are we moving together Let's stand there. I'm now saying we are talking of circumcision. If you are not circumcised, you are not permitted to enter into Canaan. And remember there are two places never allowed to enter by the Jews who have traveled if they're not circumcised. One of them uweze kula meza la Bwana kabla hajatairiwa. What is meza la Bwana? Kukula mwili wa Yesu na kukunywa damu ya Yesu. And that's very true. There are somebody can pray and say that this person needs circumcision. Circumcision will graduate you from a childhood to adulthood. There are people who handle the things of God as children and there are people who handle the things of God as adults. To you, you should handle God's things as adults. Even in marriage, a wife can be so child, not circumcised. Petty minor things breaking your marriage. A man also is not circumcised. It's not worth to be married. If a man is circumcised holy ghost a woman circumcised holy ghost they will discuss their things on table one on one the brother will tell his wife that you are my husband but this thing you're doing is not fair and the man will say what is it you will not threaten things like a ruler with some nyaunyas and fighting they will negotiate at the end of it the woman will say i'm wrong forgive me and say okay honey i love you i've forgiven you let's pray together let's move on they are handling things as those who are circumcised hakuna kununa watoto wanuni imagine babaka kununa kwa nyumba can that house go cannot so even those who are born again who are holy ghost filled that's why Joshua and Shua they were circumcised the church of Jesus and the fivefold ministry you must be circumcised are we together i number 3 again Joshua never allowed them to enter into Canaan with what with the pagan gods you also after you are born again as a Joshua ministry you are not allowed to enter into the faith and be in the faith and settle in the faith with the traditions of the world there are some friends you must leave there are some lifestyles you must leave them you are now entering somewhere there are some things you loved in Egypt are we together the lentils and the cucumbers you must leave cucumbers now you can take them now you're telling moses and joshua now joshua you have delayed us and if i was in egypt ningesha kula frogs and tatais and turtle now you might be here there's some deals you are doing in the world and now money has delayed then you are imagining i wish when i was not born again i would just do anything why don't i just do it here don't do that you've now entered canaan you now stop dealings whether there is a delay wait upon god are we together on that no shortcuts now that's a joshua ministry another thing in the joshua ministry which i'm jumping very fast praise the name of the lord let's turn to chapter 7 somewhere there in chapter 7 the book of joshua what is happening they are defeated because they have taken something that was not permitted amen and i think i've mentioned part of it kuna maisha ulikuwa umezoea na vitu za shortcut sasa umekoka wacha shortcut fuata vitu straight some can only eat by shortcuts now leave shortcuts you're born again don't go by shortcuts whether it delays wait upon god shortcuts made them lose many soldiers and god condemned them that is chapter 7 when a can son of Karmi took something. Another thing in the same same land as Joshua, I'm talking of Joshua ministry. When you turn to chapter uh, uh, chapter 8, 9, uh, chapter 8, no, I'm through chapter 8, chapter 9 now. Chapter 9 is called Gibeonite Deception. Can you say Gibeonite Deception? Don't think anybody you meet is born again. Are we together? Be it in relationships, you are a single brother, single sister, not anybody you meet is born again. This is the deception that Gibeonites had. They came and deceived the Jews and they entered. 
They discovered later. Later. I don't know where that lady was. Where was she? Yeah, I met her. She told me they loved each other so much. Loved each other. And she got to know the man when she became pregnant. They got pregnancy in the church. They could do a wedding because she was not pregnant. The pastor prayed for them. They began staying. Now, after this, the lady was pregnant now. Hey, pregnancy comes with many things. That's the time you want to know the partner. That this man was a father. In pregnancy, you know, this guy was just a sex material, not a father. True or false? This guy was a father or just a bad, a bad partner. The one who can now help you carry the baby. I think she gave birth yesterday. She was almost 10 months pregnant. Nana Leah, a lolly. She's having pressure because of the guy. She's pregnant now. This is the time the guy, the guy who used to write for her text, I love you. You are very beautiful. You are the joy of my life. I'll share with you the rest of my life. Before, but Sasa Konamimba, the guy is now asking, I never knew you were so ugly. Now it's when I'm knowing you are ugly. Hey! And you are pregnant. Abuses and words that are killing her. I know just by one thing you hear, it affects the child. Yeah. Do you people know just a word you hear can kill you? There's a way God made your body. Those five senses, they operate. They, they will always alert the body, signal the body, communicate. There's a word you can hear now that can change your heartbeat. True or false? Just a word can change your heartbeat. And there's a word of love from your man or your woman, you can hear that there can be another, another atmosphere entering your heart. True or false? Some good word. And she's pregnant. I told her, leave it now. Let's now concentrate with your pregnancy. Close your ears. That's why. You see chapter 9? It's talking about deception of the Gibeon. Gibeonites. There are those who will deceive. The Gibeonites, they were so slack. Is it slacky? That was slacky. Huh? Slack person. Those who are deceptive. Those who are cunning. Huh? Yeah, somehow, how the devil was, who came uh, 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 so cunning. Another good word as well. It's sneaky. You look outside, it's so good. But you will discover later, this was something else. Say, man of God, I never knew that forest until I entered in the forest. She said, from outside, I was seeing that forest. Thinking, of, so, but I got inside, it has hyenas, it has mongoose, it has snakes, it has all beastly animals. The deception of the Jews. But the problem with the Jews here, they had made a covenant under the altar of God. They cannot change it. Do you know that some marriages, people are suffering because of the deception of the Gibeonites? Some marriages. Because you've already signed. You have the document. Some also, you never wait, but you have a child. Because there's a child there. No single day that child will have an ex father or ex mother. Though there are some that are how it is. That was the Jew, the, this given at once. It could not be broken forever. They have to be there by because they, they knew very well to Kifanya Ivi Haita Isha. So to you as a Jew, a believer, and a Joshua ministry, be careful with the covenants you are making. Agreements. Relationships. Friendships. If you walk with the wrong person, you'll, you'll also be wrong. If you walk with a liar, you may not lie, but the consequences of a liar will be in you. How many now are a, a tearful products? The products of tears because of somebody who lied in your life. You are left with the tears. So be careful. In any business you are doing, 
and uh, faith we are confessing, be careful with the people you are signing deals with. Be careful. Heri ubaki peke yako. Badala kuwa na watu ambaye watawacha lama kwa kwa ambao haita waeisha. Are we together? Be careful. That's the deception there. You are being warned of the deception of the Gibeonites. Then from there, let's jump to chapter 10. In chapter 10, the sun and the moon standing still. True or false? Is it there? Chapter 10, if I'm not wrong, I think it is there. This one says down here, the sun stands still as the Jews are still fighting. Everybody here, you have a sunset, you have a sunrise. Your sunrise is your bath in the world. Your sunset is like now of Magufuli. A person from a very humble beginning, he made it to presidency. He believed in himself. Even if he's dead now, that is so painful. But he has left down in the history books of the world. He was a president. And now let me just look up now. Do you know that two man will never be a president? He will never be easily a president. But let me tell you, if God has ordained something in your life, he knows how to get a vacuum that you enter. Clap your hands to God on that. Yes. God knows how to create. From nowhere. But going back to our history, she was a woman who really loved charity in Zanzibar. Helping the needy, helping the orphans, helping the vulnerable. And that's how his name just came up. Very simple and very humble. But now she's going down in the records, history records, East Africa. She's the president. And there are very many people who hated her there. The people who are just using her as a bridge and a ladder. She was there. God has propelled her there. So whatever belongs to you, how God will make it, you don't know. He will do it. I'm not saying that you celebrate when somebody is dead, but God knows how to do his things. He knows how to do it. Your position, he knows how to get a vacuum for you to reach there. Sometimes you may never have money, but God knows how to do it. So in the sun and the moon standing, meaning the sun and the moon had to stop until they finish up their mission. Even you who is here, the Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word must be fulfilled. Whatever agenda God has for you and with you, he must accomplish it. Whether I dump you, whether you dump me, whether, whoever dumps you can never change the mind of God. Takuambia kwamba utajua mimi ni nani? Takuwacha. Hata kuwache. Kuna mtu moja mbaya sikuwache ni Yezo Kristo. No wonder Paul says, if God be for us, what can be against us? The only one thing that Paul never wanted to leave him is Jesus. Even to you seated here, let all friends leave you, the things of the world can leave you, but let one thing never leave you, the love of God should never depart from your life. Yeah. Cling to it. Whether in the 11th hour, where there is no hope, remain with God. I remember one day when I reached a stage of now, my life, I was dying in 2002. And I decided the best thing is to jump from the hill and run down into the uh, Lake Victoria. I'm alone in the boat in between a place called Mageta and Deda in the islands of the lake. And I discovered now there's nothing I can leave. I decided I go down in water and I had tied a stone in the boat called an anchor and I tied it up in my heart, leg. So I was to release the stone then I follow it. No, if you go with the stone, you die down there, you'll never come up. You are buried forever. Your flesh will just begin rotting in a toka toka ivyo, ki toka toka. Me fupeta baki peta hausa ivyo. You'll never be seen forever. And then I've tied, I'm about to jump down to water. I had a voice telling me, your future is bright in God. You have to live another day and fight for another day. That which God meant you to fulfill is not it. And I felt the sweet spirit of God encouraging me. But let me rise up and fight for tomorrow. 
and here I am fighting for tomorrow and I'm living a better life. Most times Satan wants to steal the trust in yourself and you begin hating yourself and blaming yourself and condemning yourself. It's very bad. Brother Ben Opondo, three weeks ago, he went to bury his brother-in-law who refused to God. He went back home, his girlfriend, who he loved and he bought some things that are going to begin staying. Kumi, this girl is married it's at home. And the lady came and sneaked Akaja kwa, Kwao, slept. And that night, the other man was with the Akaja na kamtoa kwa nyumba na vurugu. And he went back. This young man remained in the house alone. And he began speaking to himself. And he allowed the devil. Whenever the Satan takes your mind, the, 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 the wise men say, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Satan begin injecting this and this, this and this. Imagine that night Satan spoke with him and the only thing he could see, Nikamba. Akaji. Juwe nyumba yake, akaji nyonga. And most times, at the time you're killing yourself, that's why you see those who have committed suicide, their tongue comes out wide, long, and the eyes are very big because you'll remember when you're dying that you've done a mistake and you're going to help yourself. So you're screaming, help, 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 and you die. They never die smoothly. You realize this late, and nobody can help you. There's no single day the grave will reject you, will bury you, and your history. And after that, remember, hell is wide open. Never die because of a woman or because of a man. That man can't die for you. He can't. He cannot. That your boyfriend is dying for you. Which one? Gani? Gani? Angaleta huwa mbao karibu na wewe. Nani? Huya kukufia hata mimi ni kukufia. Wapi? 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 Eh? Eh, ni kose kule ugali ya hostess na maize ya narobi. Na nyama choma ya mbusi, sababu ya linet, siwezi. Siwezi dadangu. Siwezi kabisa. Nobody can die for you, my, let me tell you. Ati, uu ya mekupenda sana, unamukufia sababu ya nakupenda. Wachana nayo. Wachana waku wengi, wanaume waku wengi watakupatana. That's why I don't be so much in love. To the point that by, there's no room for God. A young man, how many years was he? Huh? 22. 22. Eh? Hey. Nikae pale kwa nyumba yangu na kufia msichana mbao hatu jazaliwa na ayo. Haa? Ah. Kwa ni bongoma, mimi natoka torukana. Hata nijui. Alafu na kaa. Hati na kupenda na upenda ya. What? Unatoka unayana na pika ugali kubwa. Kubwa. Na uwe njogo. Ngo, na malisa yote. <laughs> and I say bye bye. Game over. <laughs> Don't die because of a person. That's why let that love, that love, love thing not control you. Control it. Don't allow that. Relax. Compose yourself. And sometimes share your faith. Share what you are going through. You may, somebody else will encourage you. Run to somebody mature will discuss with you. Praise God. One day I was dying because of football. Football. Hmm. Senegal, I was in One kneel. Henry Kamara. Kamara Nampira. Kamara. Diop. 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 Higher. Henry Kamara Nampira. Go. Oxai. Eh. Two or two football. Ile ya World Cup. Na kuambia hata hawajafunga tumesama. Go, 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 go. Na hawajafunga. Na team yangu ikafunga. Collins, you watched it? Why you were so sick like me? I became sick. I was in Uganda. And I knew Africa was taking it. Africa. Ika nyanganywa tu. Wakende 15-15. Wakafunga ya kwanza oxide. Wale take kufunga, wakapatiwa. I tulianguka chindani ya hall. To kamuka the next after two days is when we woke up. To kambiwa ebumu amuke moli salala pa two days mutakufa apa. Ushawa itoka mahali. Unadani ulilala uchi apu. Ukatoka wani unaji. 
unarudi kwa nyumba kurudi kule nikalala tena kwa nyumba yangu bila kufunga mlango for four more days six days sijakula i was chasing two weeks not eating because of senegal wamefungwa henry kamara el haji diop el haji diop tony silva nikajiuliza the how what about na kufia wananijua wananijua kweli do they know you hey ujinga gani hiyo tata muda mbaya kujuu na mkufia mpira from that day i cut link with football i say god let me die for you you know me better That's why there are some things don't put yourself into. Ikiona kama hata kama ni kupendana na mwanapenda ndana kiasi gani kuna hali unaweza imaliza. Usidanganywe kisha kwamba utakufa. No. Your body will learn with the time. True or false? The best medicine to your body is time. Usidanganywe kama saa itaisha. Itaisha. We'll just be adapting and adapting and adapting and just being being strong and if you overcome it you've graduated you now be strong never reach the point of kuchukua kama mama mwingine siku moja amejua namna hiyo migori bwana wake ni wapoliga malazima awe mwingine akaongeza mwingine na ile mwingine unajua wanawake kama wanaletwa siku ya kwanza wanakuja na ile style ya kupika yote ya china ya india ya masai ya jaruo yote amebeba kwa sufuria akakaranga samaki kumbe kuna jinsi ya kukaranga samaki mpaka na, an, anafunga tumbo ya samaki na matumbo huh? inafungwa sawa sawa nyanya nawekwa ndani na kitungu ndani style yote ya kupika bwana akawekewa samaki kwa mesa akasema eh hey, nyasori 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 ah chielo chielo <laughs> Akasema hivyo mbele ya mke mkubwa chielo chielo mama chielo gino mama chielo ah chela wingo mna kare cheno ka donyo wia Yule dada wile mkumweka mkubwa na skiji sio na sifiwa tamesika ugali ile anguka tu chini pap Heri ukule samaki ziba siki ukule samaki yeye hey, kama angukia chini imagine akasnika katoka nje and the next day akapatikana kama amekufa kwa nyumba yake akaandika barua <laughs> awe ni nyaso richiala wo chiele ni <laughs> nimekuwa nyaso ri mkarangi wacha karangi <laughs> she died she died because ya chielo kukaranga tu na kufa because of chielo sasa kama ni mimi ndio huyo mke mkubwa anasema po tumepita kukaranga wacha sasa karangi lancha karangi sapa karangi kila saa karangi petty things that's why you are born again don't allow some minor minor things ikuwe some small things don't allow them And let me tell my brother one minute decision can destroy your entire future and one minute decision can recover and can redeem your entire future sometimes we are down down kabisa if you are down sometimes close some doors which will discourage you and go for some doors that will encourage you are you together and i'm telling as a human being there are times that you are down and there are times you are up it must be there it must be But let the last option should never be death. Believe that you must rise up to fight for your tomorrow. And there is nobody who understands your pain more than you. You understand it better. And the next one understand it more than you is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. So never die for somebody. Jesus died for you. Die for Jesus not for somebody because you will never disappoint. Are we together? So let's move on as we're about to close. I'm jumping now. Chapter 10, the sun is standing still. I'm saying the sun standing still meaning you must have to stop everything. Let everything stop for the sake of you fighting for a bright future. I know by the month of Ju- July ikichelewa a revival is falling in this nation Kenya. I'm very sure of that. 
And I'm very sure that I'm going to preach on television. And I'll be having 24-7 time preaching on television and presenting God to the people. Not for pride, but presenting Jesus Christ. That's my ministry. That's my mission. God spoke to me when I was a chakol banner and a chakol seller. Nikibeba guniembili ya maka kutoka ugenya. Nikenda kuuza busia. Nasina kengele kwa baiskeli. Na baiskeli na teremuka hapo matayos. Nikelekea suhos. Jisi hu. Na 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 pika kengele na mdomo ngiling 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 na wanasema kwamba wewe mtu wa makaa uza baiskeli nunua kengele. Eh? Yeah. Ushabai tokano vizuri. Hiyo ni matusi makubwa. Yaani uza baiskeli unua kengele. Hiyo utanunua nini uguza baiskeli? Will you buy? Wewe. Umefika busia na makaa gunia mbili, hujakula juishi, unatembea mpaka unija ile kizunguzungu, ha? Huh? Are you la one? Zik kizunguzungu inaitwaje kwa kwa kijaluo? Ha? Huh? Uh, this who what? Huh? It's another name, name we are calling it. Uh, 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 na tembea na makasi nilikula juusi nimelala bila kukula na maka gunia mbili na mimi ni muhubiri na biblia pia chini ya gunia ya maka. Kufika karibu na vila busia. We muta maka. Maka pesa ngapi? 350. Ni mwage gunia mbili. Kumwaga akasema Yaani hii ni vumbi umetoka kwenye kuleta hapa. Rudisha vumbi kwa gunia. Na si ile sawa unamwaga vumbi ya makaa ina, inakufunika kuanzia chini mpaka juu. Yenye mtaoni uso yako is only seeing your eyes kitokanga na kijifunga. That was yesterday hajaka. The year 2005 and 6. Poor than the poorest. Nime nikarudisha nikilia nikapanda baiskeli bila kujua kwamba uso yangu yote unajua kuna saa unaweza kuwa na shida uamke asubuhi uende kazini hata bila kuosha uso utakumbushwa town kwamba au kuosha mdomo maski kufika busia na skenja karibu ni kufe nikasimisha baiskeli karibu na hoteli nikaingia nikachora kwanza nikaona napika maragwe na makaa Nikajua ni kule nitawapatia makaa lakini sisemi sahi wacha ni kule kwanza. Nikaita chapati tatu kata mwaga supu ya maragwe. Ile umaskini wewe unua maragwe supu ya maragwe ndio maragwe. Baada ya kumaliza kukula na maji chai unasikianga tu. Chai ukinua naambia mtu wa chai kwamba hii chai ni baridi ni chome tena. Yaani unataka chai sosa hasa unapiga hesabu zako umaskini. Kumaliza nikaita waiter waiter mnatumianga makaa akaniangalia kwanza chini paka juka sema hii ni hii ni formula yako umekula na una pesa nikamuliza akamuliza umbona na kuliza mnachukua makaa akasema lepa kwanza sina pesa niko na makaa wewe nilitolewa kwa kiti lepu lepu ya lepu lepu <laughs> yani limi kwa limi lepu lepu <laughs> ndio limi kwa limi ikatolewa kwa kiti mbio na pelewa kwa jikoni nikapelekwa kwenda kudondoa dengu guni ya ngapi guni ya mbili dengu because ya chapati tatu ya silingi kumi kumi tati bob <laughs> utode dengu olayo guni ya mbili <laughs> hiyo utapaliza za ngapi <laughs> yale nikakatu kwaza nikalea tu spare uchawe lia spare <laughs> Unalia tu hapo spare kwanza. Ujui ni neck. What is next? Unalia tu kwanza. Jesus, unateseka kwa ukovu. Eh? Sasa nalia na pige hesabu yako pia hata kama unalia pika hesabu. Nikasema nikamaliza kulia hapa nitaanza kuongea kwa tanks. Raba kuri raba santiria. Lai raba. Eh? Wakastuka huyu mtu amka anaongea kwa nini hapa? What next? <laughs> Brother, let me tell you, whatever you are going through, it has a time. Don't condemn yourself whatever you are. Let the devil never tell you, never come. You will come out of it. Nikamaliza kongea kwa limu, kasema fungua mlangu, tawa sofia kwa mlangu. Nikapita pao kwa baisikira, kasema mukipenda muniwe. Na wapatia beseni moja ya makamu, kikata, wacha, saini kombaya sasa. Raba kuria, raba santiria. <laughs> Who is waiting for that? Hata kama uko maskini lakini haki yako ni haki yako. Hiyo ni haki yako. Ni kamuliza this what is called butter trade. Butter what? Yes, butter trade sasa. Makaa kwa maragwe. Nasitaki kusikia hiyo butter trade sasa. <laughs> And he 
where we are. I'm saying you must have option A, B, C, D. Wacha kwa na A peke yake. Hii ke kufa weka bata trade. Hii ke sindikana ingiza tanks. Na uwe mkali. Apana katu na kanyago na mna iyo. And here we are, my brother. Let me tell you, you might be going through challenges. Satan trying to put you on all corners. But God knows how to take you out of it. Na hiyo nilikuwa ni siku yangu ya tari. Baada hiyo kuuza makani, kauza guni ya moja, kutoka hapo, kuenda, angapa najua bose soko matopi, zi matopi. Ile soko wanauzia vitu ndani kule, asara asara. Kupita kule mutu masikini kitu ya asara, ukesikia, nguo silingi moja moja, lezimo pige brick. Silika chela chela. Gumi ni nguo ya Korea, wezi hata vaa. Nguo imetoka sentilene, kwa hile island kunanga watu. It's so big. Asa kasikia muwagoni zuliki moja moja ni kasa moja Siliki moja, kilo moja, eh, tumayi utumana adini Hiyo ni kafika karibu Kume kilo moja ni goro goro mbili Ni kasa maai Siliki moja goro goro mbili Ni pati kilo kumi Ni kajashwa Kume kitu, hii kitu beiraisi Ilishao za hanga kwa so Kwa gala Mwenye ya kachoka nayo Akasema ni mwage maskini kwa soko Ni kabeba olumos Gunia, ni kaya kama tama goro goro moja, ni kaja dau jumbani na endesa basket na imba sasa, ukona mwagogo gunia moja, muda kula wiki mbili, tu kasi yaga kuchukua samaki, kufika jumbani. You ask my brother who takes camera zia, na kumbi ugali me pi kwa ile kubwa, ukishika hapa kimeza ni kama queenin, upande ule ni chloro queen, ukibadilisha na sema ukibadilisha yu ugali iwe upside down, pegi ni katikati hiko sawa. We have gone through challenges. And by that time I was born again, I was preaching the gospel back in the village. Sometimes you go preaching, you come back and there is nothing. My son who is now in form three, I'm telling you, almost one full year, that boy in Ilkwana Mlisha Kamandege. We never have Ugali. Na tafuna, omena, na viazi rabwane, na mweka kwa mdomu. And he knew it. In fact, when he was one year old, sometimes he came back and he was like, 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 because he could not, there was no milk. We were poor. We were poor. Today I can sit down and say, my daddy is going to be in the house. I can say, my daddy, I'm going to be in the house. I'm going to be in the house. I'm going to be in the house. And from a young boy, he was a dreamer. He used to dream that, Dad, I'm seeing you picking from the airport. And I've picked him many times. So the problems we're going through now is not the sentence that you'll never come out of it. God is preparing you for a better testimony in your life. So let the devil not tell you that you'll never come. You'll come out of it. You will come out of the problem you're going through in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank God for the testimony in me. That has made me have a testimony I can strengthen you. I've lived in poverty. I've lived in wealth. I've gone through challenges. I've shed tears the whole night. To a point you think there is no hope. And you're anointed. Iyo siku ni matoka na muwagona kuja nyubani. Kufika. Inaitonga bumala. Badala ni chukue njia asega. Nika chukue njia kwenda wakina upondo ben. Na barabara na tengenezwa. Hasa naendesa na fukuza nyumbani and I did a mistake, I overtook mutu wa makambele yangu, ni kama overtook bila kuangalea nyuma. Kumbe kuna landrover inatoka nyuma yangu. Almost knocked me. This guy driver akaja mbele, akasimama na landrover mbele yangu, akatoka mutu mnono mkono yake karibu mgu yangu slap moja, le nipiga pia, ni kaona nyota kwa macho. Hey! Akenda kuongeza ya pili, yule mutu wa makanyuma nasema kwamba, ongeza hey! Nikajuliza mutu wa makamu wenzangu, anambia huya niongeza sila pengine. You know what happened from there? From that place. Zina itwaje, I'm forgetting the place. The center from Funyula after, after nini? After Bumala. The next center is called? Huh? Odiado, yeah. That's Odiado. It's Odiado one. Because I'm now taking the Nyalenya route towards our Ugenya. Imagine from, bada slap, nika sao, niko na baiskeli. Nikashika baiskeli bila kuendesha Asa natembea kwa mguna lia tu Nyasai Eh, nateseka kwa hiyo kovu 
Nilitembea like from here up to Juja. Ndio nikupike kwamba kumi niko na baisikeli nipande niendeshe. And I was from fasting the last four days in Port Victoria. But God continued telling me your future and your tomorrow is good. So you might be here, you've gone through many, many, many challenges. One thing I wanted to stand like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They said, I'll never bow down. Whether I die, I die, but I'll never, I'll never give in or I'll never betray the God I worship. The same who said I was going with the charcoal, nowadays I go there as a VIP. There was a time I went there back almost two months. After I came to Nairobi. Do you know the woman who alinambia Risha Vumbi kwa gunia? Akawa na shida ya kansa ya liver. Nikamombea kwa simba kapona. Akaja kaka penye jena meka. Na siku mjua. Asa akaja katao shuda. Nikajua kwa mba kumangalia. Nikamona busia. Nikauliza. I'm seeing in busia close to villa. Yes. And I'm seeing the selling charcoal. Yes. And then immediately the Lord spoke to me. This is the woman. Amba ele kwa mbia Risha Vumbi kwa gunia. Nikasema sasa leo nimepata yeye. Kule nilisha vumbi kwa gunia sasa mimi ndio sahihi nimesimama. Almost paying back vengeance but God spoke to me don't pay vengeance help her. And I prayed for her. And she gave almost 20,000 slings and I went back to Busia again. Did I go with you Shadrack? Yes, we went back to Busia. When I'm now being driven in a big rav for the same who has laughed at you forgive them. Those who have discussed you, forgive them. Whatever you have gone through, leave it there. I want to enter with you now in prayer. I want you to be like Joshua. We cannot finish the entire book. But I want you to stand like Joshua today and say, God, the moon and the sun must stand. I must finish the mission you ordained in my life. I know there are many challenges of going through betrayals. But God must use you to accomplish that which he ordained you to accomplish. As the young man is moving on the piano, or the brother coming on the piano, I want you to rise up wherever you are. And I wanted to sing the song, I know it was the blood of Jesus Christ. I know it was the blood. I want you to pray for the next 20 minutes just for your destiny and for your future. And don't compromise your future. Your future is waiting upon you. You might have been laughed at.